Sometimes things go wrong and you need some help, but you're concerned about your data privacy and security, and you don't know who these support people are, and you aren't sure that they're not gonna go snooping around your cloud PC, looking at, or even worse, stealing your private data while fixing your problem. And Microsoft even says that they think data privacy is a human right, but you deserve more than just talk. Customer Lockbox ensures that Microsoft can't access your data without your explicit consent. And that's all guarded by a workflow and approval process. And Microsoft will have to prove to you exactly what support did with an audit trail. And the whole process kind of works like this. You've got a problem and then you need to open a support ticket with Microsoft. The support folks will review the issue and believe that they need access to your data in order to fix that problem. Support will log into the customer lockbox tool and request the access that they need. And that'll include things like your tenant name, the service request name, start time of the access, how long they think they're gonna need it, and which services they will be accessing. Next, that goes over to their manager and they have to approve that request. Once that's done, the lockbox will send your group of internal approvers an email with all the details looking for you to sign off. And if that request is not approved within 12 hours, it will automatically expire. After all that's done, the support engineer gets a message that they are okay to proceed. And finally, when the issue is marked resolved or they've crossed that deadline, whichever comes first, their access will be immediately revoked. To set this up for Windows 365, go here to the M365 Admin Center, and on the left, go to Settings, then to Org Settings. And you want to go up here to Security and Privacy. Then click on Customer Lockbox, check this box, and click Save. Now, if you don't see Customer Lockbox here, that's because you're missing the required 365 E5 licenses. And once you've taken care of all of that, you can go up to the role assignments next and then do a search for lock, open up customer lockbox, access approval roles, and then assign your users or groups as you need to, and you're ready to go. Over here on the Azure side, the Entra ID global admin needs to do this part, search at the top for lockbox, and then you wanna to go to administration over on the left, and then enable this for your tenant. And it, can't get any easier than that. And you can even click over here to see the list of all of the services in Azure that this can protect. And that's really all you have to do to set this up on both sides. And the next time you open a support request on either Azure or the Windows 365 side, you just do that like you always would. And if support needs access to your cloud PC, then the lockbox approvals will get an email with all those details. Then your approvers go to the 365 admin center, go to support and you'll see lockbox requests. Or over on the Azure side, you go back here to the lockbox portal, click over here and approve the request. Support will go in and get everything back up and running for you. And then they'll lose access to all those systems to keep your data safe. So the only thing left to do is trust, but verify. Now here in Azure, you can do this right from the lockbox portal. Just go over here to activity logs and you'll see the audit trails. But if you're only using Windows 365, then you should probably go here to the compliance portal. And that's linked in the video description. Click over here and take a look at the audit logs. And if you've never been here, by the way, you need to click on this banner to start all the recording. Click yes on this message. And then when you actually have some data in here, you can find it by setting your date and time that you wanna search for. And your activity here should be set access to customer data request. And the record type would be for Windows 365 customer lockbox. The query will run and your results will be at the bottom. Now setting up your customer lockbox is just one layer of security and you need multiple layers of protection, which actually starts right here. And happy learning.